Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the pumpkin spice cowl, which is the cowl that you see here in front of you. You can also find more photos as well as the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, the direct link for which you can find in the description of this video. So this is the pumpkin spice cowl. It was designed to go along with the pumpkin spice beanie which you can also find here on my channel and blog. This is a bit of the cowl here for you to see uh, in person. And uh, as you can see, it is a very textured cowl. It's made with a bulky weight yarn, so it's extra thick and extra warm. And uh, again, there's photos of me wearing it on my blog. I have made this cowl using the Karen swirl cakes by yarn inspirations you can substitute it for another bulky weight yarn if you would like of your choice and uh, with it i am also using an eight millimeter crochet hook again links for those can be found in the description of this video you're going to need about 250 yards of uh, of your bulky weight yarn it's about one full cake and uh, the color that I'm going to show you here today is called Gold Fusion. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Our design today is worked in rounds. You do not need to turn at the end of each round. We're just going to continue going in the same direction. And uh, we're going to start by making our foundation chain. So make, start by making your slip knot. And then make your foundation chain. For your foundation chain, you're going to need a total of 80 stitches. If you would like to change the size of your cowl, you're going to need to adjust your chain in multiples of two. So go ahead and chain 80 chains. Once you have chained your 80 chains, you're then going to take your yarn and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So make sure that your foundation chain there is not twisted and then simply join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. you will now have a ring formed. You're then going to chain one and we're now going to work a half double crochet stitch into each chain all the way around. So at the end of this round you should have a total of 80 half double crochet stitches. half double crochet all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. Once you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round two, you're going to chain one, do not turn your work, and we're going to work in the third loop and single crochet all the way around. So to find your third loop, uh, right now we're looking at the tops of my stitches and you can see this nice V. To find the third loop, you're going to pull your work forward. So this is the front. You're going to pull your work forward and look at the back of your work. And there you will see these horizontal bars just underneath those top loops. So this is your third loop. This is the loop that you're going to work in. So in this first stitch, pull your work forward, you see that horizontal bar, insert your hook under that bar only, and single crochet. That's your single crochet in the third loop. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So single crochet in the third loop all the way around. I'll work a few stitches here and then I'll show you what the front is going to look like. We 
pull back here a little bit. So you can see it's taking the top of your stitch and pushing it forward, which is giving this uh, little ridge of texture here that almost looks like it's knit. So continue that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round two, you'll have joined with a slip stitch in the first stitch. You're then going to chain one and do not turn your work. We're now going to work the first of our puff stitch rounds and we're going to start by working a puff stitch into the next stitch. So to work your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're going to repeat that three more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. There's two, or, well, the first repeat. <laughs> You'll have a total of four times. There's three and four. You're then going to yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. And that's your first puff stitch made. You can chain one, skip the next stitch, and then you're going to repeat. Into the next stitch, work one puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch a total of four times. Yarn over, draw through all the loops on your hook, chain one, skip one, and repeat. You can now repeat that all the way around and when you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that puff stitch. At the end of your round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your puff stitch. We are now going to begin round four. You're going to chain one. You're going to work a half double crochet into that same stitch as joining. And then a half double crochet into the chain one space. So that's the space in between your next two puff stitches. Half double crochet into the top of your next puff stitch and half double crochet into the chain one space. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round four, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for rounds five through to 22, you are going to repeat rounds two to four six more times. So round two started with the chain one and then the single crochet and the third loop all the way around. Round three was your puff stitch round and then round four was your half double crochet round. So you're going to repeat rounds two to four six more times. If you take a look at the cowl I've already worked here, you're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, rounds of puff stitches and then you know that you've come to the end and you're going to end with a single crochet in the third loop round. And that's all there is to making this pumpkin spice beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out the matching hat pattern, which can be found here on my channel and on my blog. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.